The GPS tracks and the race queue sailing replay are color coded for speed. The color key is visible right here and you can control the track length here as well. It's important to note it's important to know that there are different avatars available for different types of boat. This is the J24 avatar. In the J24 avatar, the maximum speed, anything above eight knots is red. But for example, in the Moth Mach 2 avatar, anything above 26 knots is red. So it's important to remember to select the right avatar. Go to boats in your journal page and edit whichever boat you wanna change the avatar for. You can select a type of boat from keel, sport, dinghies, or multi-holes, and then just select whatever the closest model is to your boat. Once you have the avatar selected, the color-coded speed tracks become really useful. Here we are watching a couple of boats at the start. And with just a glance, we can look at their speeds coming into the start and their completely different starting strategies. Then, after the start, we can evaluate how that worked out for them on the entire leg here with the stats on the left hand side. It's also a really easy way to see how well you're doing on your tacks. I like to switch to bird's eye view and then turn on the track for at least 30 minutes if not the full track which allows you to see your entire race. Another great use for the color-coded GPS tracks is to compare tacks made by two different boats. Here we have Alpha and Echo and by zooming in we can see the rough speeds going in and out of the tack and how long it took each boat to recover. If we want more specific information, we can turn on the groove analysis and actually click each tack to find out the speed, duration, and VMG through each of the two maneuvers. Just don't forget to select the correct avatar or the avatar that's closest to your boat make and model so that the color-coded speeds will be accurate for the particular type of sailing that you did that day.